shake hands 65 more times and then I got up my hand and sore. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. May I present Mr. Charles Rudy. Yes, sir. Very nice to meet you, Mr. President. And Ms. Wendy Rudy, Mr. President. Good morning. Nice to see you. And Dr. Curtis Plott, who is the Executive Vice President, and Mr. Carl Flatke. Mr. President. First of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for giving us some of your time. I'm sure you're busy. Well, <laughs> and uh, the plaque that we have here today is uh, <coughs> one that we are presenting for the very first time. It's uh, American Manager of the Year. And we're presenting it to you because we feel you are, without doubt, the number one <coughs> man to receive this. <laughs> It's being presented on behalf of these 17 sponsoring uh, national organizations. And uh, <clears throat> a little history, maybe, if you're not familiar, which I'm sure you probably are. The uh, <clears throat> National Management Association uh, initiated the Management Week in America in 1978. And uh, in 1983, legislation passed through the uh, Congress of the United States and you signed into legislation a law and a uh, <coughs> presidential proclamation. In 1984, we felt in order to honor the uh, Management Week in America, very important to present to you this for Manager of the Year Award. And with that, I would like to, uh, if you don't mind, read what it says. Okay, with your permission, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Management Week in America. 1984, American Manager of the Year, presented to President Ronald Reagan for the support of the management profession and recognition of its essential role in increasing productivity and contribution to our American enterprise system. Now this is presented by the Management Week co-sponsors, Academy of Management, Administrative Management Society, American Chamber of Commerce Executives, American Management Associations, American Society of Association Executives, American Society for Personnel Administration, and American Society for Training and Development, Chamber of Commerce of the United States, Institute of Certified Professional Managers, International Management Council, Junior Achievement Incorporated, National Association for Female Executives, National Association of Manufacturers, National Federation of Independent Business, National Management Association, and National Small Business Association, and last but not least, Students in Free Enterprise. So with that, I'd like to uh, well, thank you you that much. to you. I know they'd like to have me turn around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very proud to have this, and I don't think anyone could ever receive it to really feel that was totally deserving of it. Well, we think you are. Well, I am proud and happy to, to have it. And presented on behalf of all of these national organizations. I hope you can find a place to hang. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we will do that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Thanks a lot for doing this. Very nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Okay. Good luck on your trip. Thank you very much. Thank you. Deeply honored. Uh, she's tipped to be going there. That's one of the signers. It's nice to see you. Hello. 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 Lovely to see you. Well, it's good to see you. Do you remember that? Beauty? Heaven's sake. It's an old, <laughs> a rather blurry picture, but I wonder if I could get you to sign it at some point. Would you mind? Yes. Our daughter, this is our daughter. Our daughter. Our daughter. Very nice to meet you. You and I will go over first in front of the fireplace for right. a picture. All right. 
and then you will join us for a wonderful part like that. All right, sir. Yeah. I'll talk about your visit to me. Thank you very much. Now, would you all, ladies? I think if the ladies get between us, I think it's a pretty good picture.
Oh. I was in the... Yeah, when did, uh, when did you announce that you were going to run for governor in California? Was that 59? In, uh, no, that was in December 31st of, um, the, the, I, I announced the last day of, uh, of 1965. 65? Yes. And that picture's older than I thought. You were in El Paso uh, here uh, about two weeks before you announced. You mm -hmm. came to speak to our Republican group by the county chairman. Yes. But, sir, you've uh, okay, not changed, changed as much as I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, let's go over in front of the fireplace that you're going to do this. Thank you very much. sister that uh, he says that due to the fact that I know the totalitarian plans of my brother Fidel Castro and is carrying them out, I must support your position of fighting against that danger. And uh, that's Fidel Castro's sister. This is a letter of the parents of the Cuban American Marine killed in Beirut on last October. And uh, we were very touched by this and uh, <coughs> they support you all the way. I and mean, he died, he suffered his life only 23 years old. Uh, Fighting Germanism. And here's something that it was for us very important. This lady was able to leave Cuba only with this medal. This medal was given a hundred, uh, almost 90 years ago to her father who fought in the Spanish American War. And uh, she said that this is the only profession that she had. That's her father uh, medal that, uh, because he fought against the Spanish uh, colony. And she wanted to give it to you. The only thing of value that she had, she wanted to give it to you. And uh, this is a letter of a delegate to the Democratic Convention uh, in uh, California. We have Southern Fletcher's We have Democrats. Southern Democrats. And he is going, to, uh, he's the vice mayor of the city in the county. And he's going to introduce uh, in the convention a uh, resolution to support your policy in Central America. I guess he won't be very far on that. <laughs> but anyway, he said that he's going to do it because he supports your policy. And, uh, and these, of course, this is a letter from a seven years old uh, child that uh, she took it uh, to the station. 
and uh, we felt that we have many of the children that we feel that uh, this uh, the Republic and I was born in Miami, Florida. I have seven years old. Hello, your family. We love you. I love you. And all that. And this, of course, are many clippings uh, of newspaper that uh, wire story carry our uh, the campaign that uh, we did in Miami. And uh, because of these wire services stories, uh, many uh, Cuban communities in New York and Los Angeles, Chicago, Tampa are going to follow so and do the same. Um, send you letters of support and write to Congress. We are going to deliver something like this to the Congress uh, state delegation, the Florida delegation. So we are no longer the silent majority, Mr. President. No, you're not. I don't know how to thank you. I know that you can play such a part in explaining what the situation is and why it is necessary to help our neighbors in, in Central America. And I am overwhelmed by this. I'm most grateful I am. In a few minutes, we are going to deliver over 106,000 letters. Right. If, if, if they see the picture of the uh, Marine, uh, yes. who was died on the father, and this medal is very, really very moved with this because it is the only band thing that she had at the set. Well, I mean, the Castro sister. Castro sister. sister. She was just And also here, this is a cartoon that this a is Cuban a cartoon lady. Cartoon. <laughs> you see, they called Castro one. the horse. Uh, in Cuba, they called Castro the And this, I'm going to entertain this horse. This is, <laughs> this is a, a, a movie actor, Ronald Reagan. Oscar no meeting for the Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is on the back here, on the so the letter can be sent to her. Very, she's a very popular artist. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Uh, from my well, oh, my goodness. Thank you very much. More than I can say. This is... And oh, sir. Cufflinks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are very kind. There's no need. It's our duty. And uh, by God, we're going to do everything we can to do it. Thank you. And I know you can. I know the effect that you can have. You're doing very good, and we are going to do everything possible that you continue with. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good, good trip. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Mr. President, you know Bob Ryan. Oh, yes.